Hey, it's Mike from Friction Jewelry. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video on a couple things. One, I want to do making tiny jump rings. I'm going to try it out. Uh, I haven't been doing it very long. Very long. I, I really don't like to make jump rings. I've always ordered them. But for permanent jewelry, I think you really need tiny jump rings, like two millimeter or even smaller. So we're going to try to make some two millimeter jump rings today using um, some 26 gauge uh, round wire. This is uh, half hard. Um, you can purchase it on Rio or wherever you want. And um, this is a ring uh, jump ring mandrel that came in a set of like 30 different sizes. This right here is, and they're not labeled in any way, or if they are, I can't, I, I don't know. So I have a little, um, little caliper there so you can see that is like 1.1 millimeter on the caliper. Um, so our 26 gauge wire is like 0.4 millimeters. So 0.4 plus 0.4 plus 1.1 should be pretty close to two. That's our goal. All right, so let's get into it and see what we get. All right, so first things first, we're gonna make our coil. Um, let's just start by holding this kind of close to the end of the wire and just winding it super tight and trying to keep the coil as tight as possible. I'll wind it around like, I don't know, a bunch of times say like 10 times or something. Let me jump, put the camera on the mic, on the magnifying glass so you can see kind of have a better view of what's going on. Okay, so you can see my coil there and um, all we gotta do is just sort of slide it off the wire or off the dowel rather. And um, let me see if I can hold it with something to get my fingers out of the way, which are super gross, like so. And I probably should have tightened up the coil when it was on the mandrel a little bit, just like squeezed it. But um, in any case, first we'll try the Zeron pliers and we'll see if we can get, try to stay in focus. We'll see if we can get in there to cut these off. I can really only get the tip in to do sort of like one at a time. And these micro shears are supposed to cut or do a better job of cutting both sides flush. So it's working okay. Um, we're not getting like super tight jump rings. And they're also flying onto my lap because I haven't taped it. Um, let's try the... Uh, Let's try these guys and see if we get any better results. Oh yeah. So it seems to me that these Tronix players just do a better job. They're just badass players. Um, and they just do a better job of like getting in there and cutting this on the very tip. Okay, so. These I also recommend. These are great Tronix um, bent nose P757s. You can really get down and pick up tiny, tiny things. Um, these are really tiny. So here's one of the jump rings that we made. Let me see if I can get it in focus. Okay, so I got a good grip on it. Of course, I can't keep it in focus. Um, we're going to try to get it through this tiny Figaro link. There it goes. And then we'll use another tiny pair of Tronix players to close it. Okay, so there's our little baby two millimeter jump ring. And for reference, I put a 24 gauge 2.3 millimeter jump ring right next to it. And you can kind of see, let me see if I can get closer you can kind of see that it's significantly smaller and it's definitely like more in line with this chain um, in the, the, the size of this chain. Now the color's off because I use rose gold wire and that's a gold filled chain, but you can imagine, I mean, it would be more invisible. And I think that's what we're really going for in, in permanent jewelry. All right, so there you have it. It worked pretty well. I was a little disappointed in the Zeron pliers. I, I just didn't feel like I got the same kind of firm cut that I got with my Tronix pliers. So 
might return these, I don't know. But overall, I think it worked really well. I, I hope this helps. And um, I think our goal in this industry is really to try to make everything as seamless as possible. And when, you, when you're not comfortable welding a link or you have wire that's even thinner than that Figaro chain I used in the example, um, you know, using a tiny jump ring, I think makes sense. Uh, especially with like rope chains that are made with really thin wire. And there's a bunch of others too in gold that are that are really, really hard to weld the links. So I like, I think these tiny jump rings, you know, and I'm gonna try to even make them smaller than two millimeter. I wanna try to do like a 1.6 to just really have that look where, you know, someone's gonna struggle to find, you know, where it was welded. I, that's kind of what I'm going for in my business. So I hope this helps and happy welding.